This is the solo section in wide angles. So I've used the bass line that's right at the beginning. And I've left a couple of bars rest there, mainly because it's quite cool, but also because if this is the first time you've improvised, you might like to use that space to play the right hand because coordinating two hands is always a bit tricky if you're not used to it, especially when you're improvising. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. Okay, sounds okay. It's a bit, it's a bit simple and it's would be better if the right hand could play at the same time as the left hand. So I'm going to now improvise in the space but also try and do something at the beginning of the bar. So I was doing some simple things on the beginning of the bar. Sometimes I go or just hold a note. So again, that's worth coordinating um, just to get a fuller and more interesting improvisation. I'm going to use some ideas now from the tune. So if you remember, we had this little groovy uh, phrase in bar three. So I'm just going to make that a little feature of this improvisation. that with the other riff as well, bar six. I'm just going to take the second part of that. And the ideas of all been generated from the A blues scale. This is how the A blues scale sounds. You don't have to use the blues scale, you can leave out the bluesy note and play uh, A minor pentatonic. They're virtually the same, the only difference is this chromatic note. It's a very bluesy piece of music so I wouldn't personally probably do any other modes but um, you could try the Dorian mode. So I'll just try the Dorian mode, see how that sounds. You've got a few riffs, you've got some ideas from the actual tune. I'm just going to do one final improvisation without any rules or regulations and see what happens.